and the next game coming up is going to be played between Jaipur Regals and Chandigarh Bees. This is game seven of day one of round five. And Jaipur Regals wearing the pink jerseys. We have Vijay Parnar, Patrick McGlynn with number four, and Rajesh at five. Number six is Kefsia. And wearing the green jerseys, we have Dolan Karsati, number five, number six, Jasjit Sodhi. And in place of David Boone, we have Mithil Reddy, and we have Kunal Raga wearing number nine. Mithil Reddy for Chandigarh Bees. Jasjit. Spotting up for a jumper, it's an air ball, but Kunal Raghav tries to get the rebound. Vijay Parmar. See, and just that that easy, that, that pass that he made, right? He kind of had his defender beat, but he saw that extra defender come off of four and made that easy pass. It makes Ford's life a lot easier. Good rebound by Kunal, who's been playing really hard all day today. Open score for Chandigarh as well. Kunal Raghav, Vijay Parmar with the rebound, bringing the ball out. Stolen by Jasjit and again stolen by Rajesh. Nice move there. Made it look pretty easy. Again, that, that sideline's a killer. <laughs> Second victim for the day. That's not bad, Himamshu, considering the last few rounds we had quite a few oh, of those. Oh, yeah, I mean, in one game in <laughs> last game, Mumbai had three or four themselves. For McLean, challenged on the way to the hoop and draws a foul. He will go to the charity stripe. Even he's going with the short shorts method here. I'm not sure what's going on with our ballers. <laughs> I think we're going to have to go with retro jersey since fourth. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I think he's just showing off that he did leg day or something. Mithil ready. Makes that one. It's a two for Mithil. And tie game early, 3-3. Three, three. An air I mean, ball even, from. Even you see kind of four taking it easy a little bit like Kyle did against Schrundiger. You, you got you to gotta take this stuff a little bit seriously. Kai finally shows up. <laughs> Sitting on the bench there, not sure where or what happened. That's that's like Four's patented move there, that little lull you step to sleep yes. with between the legs a couple times and then step back. Gaif coming in cold, he hasn't taken a shot, practice shot. Not at all, but... Kaif is going to have to pack in quite a bit over there. At Again, least. Mit Mitchell coming up big early. So he's he's a very unlikely player. You you wouldn't think that Mitchell would do these things, but yeah, there he is. He's still doing what he has to do, getting those points on the board. Sneaky. Justin, back to Mitchell. Forrest, Forrest shot is off a little early. Oh, he's just getting warmed up. You can be sure of that. Four is definitely going to find his feet before this game is over. Good D there. Something we emphasize with the players is good closeouts, and that was a good closeout. There you go. There we go. Four I spoke too early. I spoke too early on him. Out to Vijay. Vijay spotting up for a two. Kaif is there to hustle for the rebound. And you Back. see him immediately when Kaif comes in, he's making an impact. This is why they needed him from the start. But he's a very important player for them. And I think this is their best lineup out of, uh, for, as a team. Everyone can kind of do a little bit of everything and, and you got Kaif to do a little bit of the dirty work. They have been dominating so far. At least they've been getting a lot more touches than Chandikar have so far. Although the score doesn't speak so much. And there it is, four on flow again. It, he doesn't, you call it a jump shot, but he doesn't jump. It's like he's standing, he's standing still most of the time. But he still gets that power and energy out of it. Jasjeet puts one back there and gets one point for him. 
Chandigarh with one added one. Stripped their good defensive effort by Jasjeet for Chandigarh Bees. Mithil ready, out to Jasjeet. Stepping out and taking a two, but it's an air ball. Vijay Parma is there to pick it up for Jaipur and passing it inside to open man Kaif. Kaif makes a shot, but the shot does not count. And that is a timeout. So, I mean, we got a fairly close game, but it really looks like Jaipur is in control. They're kind of playing lazy, playing easy, but they've still got a three point lead. And you can tell they seem to be in control with the number of touches they have on the ball and uh, they seem to be having the ball more with them rather than uh, Chandigarh having those opportunities to dominate with the ball. Correct, correct. And they started, I mean, Chandigarh started off strong. Mithil had three early points, but since then, just Preet and Kunal haven't been able to really support him that much. And Duvan, I don't think he's even gotten in the game yet. But what we have to see is can Chandigarh be sustain this momentum and put the keep the pressure on Jaipur is something we have to see. And right out of a timeout, I mean, coaches always say that, that out of a timeout, the worst thing to have is a turnover. And right off the bat, when you have enough time to talk about it, discuss what you're going to do when you get back out there, to have a turnover is a killer. And that too over poor shot selection. Correct. An easy one there and. Kicking it out to Rajesh. Nice, nice ball movement, but I would have liked to seen four just take that up for the easy basket. Rajesh with the ball for Jaipur. Vijay Parmar finding nice the Nice kick man. out there. He's getting a little fancy. He's just go up with it. That's the second time he's done that. First time he got a foul. They seem to be letting him play this game. It's like he's got to shoot is, that. Yes. It's like Ford is like ready to watch his guys play and see when he needs to step in. Looks like he, he got slapped in the elbow. Duvon getting his first action, trying to go right up, and McGlynn blows right past him for the end one. It's like he doesn't want to turn it on un until and un uh, until it's necessary. You know, he's like conserving his energy, and he's like, let's take this easy. Let's just keep ahead of the rest of them. He's got the sneaky athleticism. Yes. Partly, you look at him. He's a white boy. You don't think, oh, he, he's not that athletic. He can't jump. White he's not can that play. quick. Yeah, white men can't jump. Can jump, right? Yep. Wesley Snipes said it best. Tulon with that extra pass out there, that's Mithil. No, that's Kunal. Oh, now they're just getting cocky. It's like when you play with your little brother, you just kind of beat him up a little bit. And all that time, though, one of these times, that little brother's gonna beat your ass. <laughs> that's what's gonna happen. <laughs> that's true. But right now, they don't seem to be under any pressure. Jaipur have a five point lead, four minutes 26 remaining. What I like is he's been aggressive to the hole. He's trying to do a little bit fancy stuff sometimes, but... Kunal. And that he was, the man was out of bounds. That was Jasjeet. It's really been a bad, a bad game all around. Kind of ugly, kind of slow. This is not the style of basketball you'd expect for a 3x3, three three, but yeah, it happens once in a while and, and we have to endure. But even though that's like that, it's still kind of fun to watch. <laughs> oh yes. 
lighter moments, several indeed. Exactly. Mithil again open. Kind of cooled off since his hot start. A nice block by Jasjeet. Jasjeet is actually the cousin of Indian national team player Arshpreet Buhler. Unfortunately, that shooting touch did not go to Jasjeet. Some of it only gets transferred by jeans. <laughs> minutes and 14 seconds remaining another timeout you can see the relaxed body language of Jaipu team like nothing much to worry about they just want to keep themselves barely ahead and take it comfortably conserve themselves for the next game And the next game, Jaipur is going to have to play Aizol Legends. So I'm thinking that they are saving their legs for the next one. It looks like it, man. They're really conserving a lot of energy, similar to what Aizol did. I, I think it actually this is going to give uh, Jaipur an advantage because they'll get warmed up a little bit. Aizol is going to have about two hours, three hours Yeah, they're going to games. cool down completely. Yeah. It's a nice one by Mithil. Yeah, and sneaky. You do not expect him to be playing. Nice put back by Kaif, just couldn't finish it. Man out of bounds once more. So it's going to be Jaipur ball. That's giving Flynn too much of space there. Problem is Dulan's too small to really guard him up there and he's too slow to guard him when he as he's driving by. So Dulan's really at a disadvantaged position there. Vijay spotting up. Kef with the tip in, puts it back. Kef out to Vijay. Hustling defense by Dulon. I hit the feeling uh, Four is trying to show that he can dunk and try to get in in game one. A couple of drives he's gone in there with, with some aggression on his face. Oh, nice pass there, but it was well intercepted by Kunal Raghav. There was... But Kaif is there to pick it up and put it back inside, so no harm done with McGlynn going, taking it to the hoop. True. He can try everything and, uh, and get warmed might up. as well test yeah. some stuff out. Nice take there. Minute and 44 remaining, Jaipur have a fairly commanding lead with 15 and Chandika trail by, they have eight points. So this is actually the only the fourth foul of the entire game, a pretty clean game in that regard. Although maybe they're go. just missing the fouls and not necessarily playing a clean game. Kunal Raghav for Chandigarh Peace out to Dulon Karsati. Dulon hesitating to make that. He takes that shot and yeah. he makes it. He should take more of those. Yeah, and I mean, both him, him and Mithil have provided the entire offense for today. This is just shooting practice for Jaipur. They're just jacking whatever they want up, trying a few things out. Dude, instead of making that pass, he could have made that attempt, right? Yeah. Try to shoot. A lot of frustration. And actually, their best lineup maybe should be with those two in the game together right now because they're the only ones that are doing anything offensively. Oh, tried to sneak one in there. Nice little move there. A very sweet spin, but Mithil ready with a foul there. 
58 seconds remaining. Rajesh missing the one from the free throw line. Kefzia with the ball for Jaipur. Tries to take it to, take to the hole, but no. Fouled in the process. That would be Jasreet or Kunal. Passing it out to Kunal Raghav. It's just a formality of finishing this game. Yes, it's still only five points. They hit the head of two right here. Then there it is. One more point for Chandigarh came coming off Kunal Raghav's. Oh man, it was just a delay in score. It's actually now five points. Ooh, that's the dagger right there. Taking it out of reach. Seven point deficit for Chandigarh. Four yeah. is just having fun there, man. I don't ever think he even felt threatened at all at any point. He was just playing around with them the entire time. He was trying a lot of things there. I mean, things that he probably would hesitate to try otherwise, and he would take it, make it more business like in the other games. This is something that he can have fun with. Yeah. I think he was trying to get on the highlight reel. Uh, we may have to indulge him because uh, he's the one that has maximum points for Jaipur so far. Yeah. Yep. He's offensively, I mean, he's playing his role. He carries them offensively. Rajesh has had a couple drives, good drives. Vijay doing the, the, the dirty work, but not really scoring too much, as is Kaif. No pressure on Jaipur so far. They've just managed to stay ahead and actually quite commandingly so right now when you look at the scores at this point in time. Chandigarh Beasts have been struggling so far and they are almost out of the quarterfinals. Oh, geez, that, there's a little too physical right there. You may have to call that one to not have a fight go down. That's a good one. Jasjeet putting it back inside for Chandigarh. For McLinn, does what he does best, yeah, drain them. Score. <laughs> And that is the end of the game. And Jaipur with 20, Chandigarh 12. Jaipur have managed to eliminate Chandigarh Beasts from the quarterfinals. There we see Jaipur Regals have beaten Chandigarh Beasts quite convincingly 2012.